Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Red. In the last part, um, we beat Koga, or well, he beat himself. And then, uh, wow, that sounded suggestive. He beat himself, and um, I said that we were going to go and catch our last team member, but that's wrong. We got some other things I want to do first, so it's going to be another video or two until we do that. Sorry about that, but oh well. Right now, though, we have nicknames to give, and because I'm going to be standing here for a while, I thought I'd give you my favorite song to listen to. So yeah. Anyway, we have nicknames for Polyrath and Rhyhorn to do. So, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to start with Polyrath, get to the fourth one, and then, um, you know, get to the fourth one of Rhyhorn, just like last time. Okay, so, number five on Polyrath was Joe71Poke with Toadsworth. I don't, I could have never thought of that one on my own. I thought that one was just really clever. I liked that one. Uh, making a comeback, or, well, not a comeback, more just a return, is Legoland1230, or 1230, whatever, with Polewiggle. You remember the little, uh, tadpole enemy from Tales of the Abyss? Yeah, I thought that one was good. Alright, and this one is kind of interesting. Just a little bit of a story on this one. Uh, Joe T.E. Strikes Back. Oh, well, you know what, here. I'll just say it first. It's Battletoad. Joe T.E. Strikes Back and The Oz Q suggested that. Two winners for that for a certain reason. Uh, Joe T.E. Strikes Back um, first brought up Zitz or and Rash, which are the characters in the game Battletoads. But because I didn't really want to give Polyrath like a nasty name, I wanted to name him Battletoad. But, the Oz Q was the first one to actually suggest Battletoad. So, I wanted, I let them both win that one just because they technically both suggested it. Even though, you know, whatever. I'll let them both win because I feel like it. Uh, number two is Jade Hex with Hypnotoad. All glory to the Hypnotoad. There you go. Alright, and we're going to save the number one for when I show them off. So, next up is Rhyhorn. And number five is The Punny Guy with Renoplos. Monster Hunter 3 reference. <laughs> okay. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, no, coming in at number four was Oenden Cyrus. I hope I pronounced that right. With Rocksteady. Yeah, it's number four. I never said you'd get selected as the actual nickname. I just said that you'd win. Okay, but, you know, if I, if I just named that the instant nickname victory, that wouldn't have been any fun, so it's number four. Number three is Arkham 4 with Sherman. You know, like a Sherman tank? I thought that was actually, that's pretty cool. I liked that one a lot. Okay, so number two is Neocorex with Bowser. Need I say more? And... Now that the four top nicknames for Polyrath and Rhyhorn have been listed, I will now reveal the number ones. The people coming in at first for Polyrath was Mr. Lawcool, and for Rhyhorn it was Ninguno65 with their su suggestions of Rambi and Rathian. I, I don't need to say anything, do I? Rathian I thought was perfect, and Rambi was pretty perfect, actually. I just think that those are really good. So, there you go. Rambi and Rathian. Congratulations, Ninguno and Mr. Wakul for selecting or suggesting the winning nicknames. So, aside from that, we got some stuff to do. I kind of forgot to do this. I, I went too fast. I was thinking too quickly for my own good. So, uh, what I need to do is go to my PC, and I need to pull out my Poke Flute, and no, that's totally not weird at all. Um, me pulling out my flute. <laughs> anyway, uh, where is it? Um, do I still have it? Oh, I'm, I guess I just have it still. I thought I put it away. Oh, okay, cool. I don't. I didn't put it away. That's nice. I am going to put away that TM for Toxic, though, because I know I don't need that. Um... I'm probably not going to teach that to anybody, but I'm certainly not going to sell it, because it's a good TM. Alright, so, uh, this is mostly just going to be, um, like a training course for, um, Rhyhorn. Because out here, I'm going to get on my bike, um, out here, it's pretty much nothing but flying types in this first little area right over here. 
and um, nothing but poison types, uh, like up in this next route. Now, the, th the thing is, uh, the way I play this game, you might have been worried for a sec there, but the way I play this game, I always take route, um, route 12 down to, what's it called? Ugh. I take Route 12 down to Fuchsia City, and then I always take Cycling Road back up to Celadon, and then I cut over to Saffron City. Because that's really the next city that we need to go to, is Saffron City. But I want to focus on getting all this experience, because Rambi needs to get uh, experience. Uh, Rambi is going to evolve at level 42. Yeah, it's a really late uh, evolution, but it is very good. Trust me, it's a really good evolution, and I don't, I don't know why I keep saying it's, oh, it's a good evolution. The thing that he evolves into is good. Rhydon, his evolved form is very good. All right, so now a Fero, and as you can see, Rambi, Rambi freaking tramples everything he's. Oh man, that was a critical hit. Oh wait, that's a Fury attack. Okay. Ugh, come on, man. Stop it. Ugh. Watch, he's gonna get all five. Four. Okay, good. Uh, for a second there, I was worried that I was gonna miss, but no. Rambi is a boss apparently. All right, so you're dead. How much experience? Give me something good. Okay, 900. That's not bad. But y another Spiro? Why not? You Why would you have this many Spiros? You know that Fear Spiro evolves at, like he evolves something lower than 26. I know that. I think it's like level 24 actually. Oh, Rhyhorn. I mean, uh. Pfft. Uh, mirror move. Uh, mirror move is, um, it's a weird attack. Basically, it just lets you mimic the move that was last used on you. Um, if you can accurately predict your opponent, or... Okay, well, wait. If your Pokemon is slow, you'll have to accurately predict them in order to actually make very good use of that. But if they're really fast, like this Dodrio, for example, what you could do is... Let's say you're fighting a Gengar with a, a Dodrio. Um, I mean, and, the, uh, well, Gengar would probably outspeed you, but just uh, suffice it to say, if you can outspeed them, okay, let's just say that, um, and you're fighting something that's weak against itself, or a move that it has, like a Dragon-type using an Ice-type move, if you predict that um, move, you can just use Protect, and then they'll use that move but it won't hurt you. And then in the next turn, you can use Mirror Move and copy that move. And then you'll be able to take it, take advantage of it. That's about the only smart way I can think to pl uh, play if you have Mirror Move and you actually intend to use it. It's kind of the same thing as Counter, but it just uses the exact same move against them. So you'd have to be smart about it. It's almost kind of similar to... Um, me first, which is a move that was introduced, I believe, in the fourth generation? Uh, I think so. Um, and what that does is, if your Pokemon is faster than the opposing Pokemon... Jeez, man, they're actually doing a substantial amount of damage to me here. I mean, I know it's three trainers in a row, but still. Um, oh, awesome. Okay, level up. Uh, if your Pokemon is faster... Oh, we got Stomp. Okay, whoopee. Um, if your Pokemon is faster than the Pokemon that you use me first against, then you will literally steal the move that they're trying to use, and use it, and you will have. Wow, that did not do much. All oh, right, I need to use Rock Slide of Hero. Blah, blah, blah. I can't concentrate on what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. Let me think. If you use me first and you steal the move that they are trying to use before they can use it, you will use it with half again as much power, or 1.5 damage and stuff. I never really understood why people say 1.5 the power, because really, it's just half again. That's much easier to say and understand. I don't know why people prefer... I mean, unless I'm wrong, I always kind of thought that that was exactly how it worked. Because... I mean, that just does not make any sense to me. If it they really mean 1.5 times the power, then that means that it's... Like, for example, let's just say that a move does, like, 50 damage, or it has 50 base power. If it's, if it's 1.5, that means it's 125 base power, because you're getting another full percent plus another half of that full percent. 
That makes absolutely no sense to me. I really doubt that they would do that. So I've always just kind of said half again, because that's what it is. But yeah, anyway, this is Cycling Road. Uh, the gimmick here is that, um, as you can see, I'm moving really slowly, even on my bike. But if you, if you let go of moving up, then you automatically move down. So basically, it's on a hill. And is there anything here? Uh, no, there's not. Okay, I don't know the point of that. But, um, yeah, that's kind of the gimmick here. It's really slow if you're trying to go up it, but I don't really care. And for those wondering, um, a lot of it well, not a lot, but a few people have been asking if my, uh, N64, my Pokemon Stadium, whatever, if it has Dodrio mode. Um, I don't think it does. I, like, when I play on here... I don't see any options for a Dodrio mode. I don't think I've ever unlocked that or anything. I know what it is. It's like a mode where you can play... Uh, it's either you play in super fast speed or you have the ability to speed things up. Which is nice. It's kind of like an emulator. Which, technically, I guess this is what that's what we're doing now. Because we're using this to emulate the game, but... You know how in emulator you can like usually hit like the space bar and have a super speed mode? But, as far as I know, my N64 slash Pokemon Stadium does not have it, or have it unlocked. So, yeah. Sorry about that, but we're going to be playing legit here. I ain't speeding through nothing. This is how it was back in the day. You think I had super speed buttons back when I was playing this as a kid? No. Nobody did. Nobody did. Nobody had speed. We had to go through this one battle at a time. One Pokemon, one turn... And it was slow. Okay, no, it wasn't really slow. <laughs> but, you know. This is how I did it as a kid, so this is how we're going to be doing it here. Alright, so Smog, stop wasting... Okay, good. For a second there, I thought he poisoned me. I didn't really did not want to be poisoned. But, oh well, I have items for it anyway, even if I do get poisoned. Alright, so... Yeah, Rambi, he's going to just... He's going to rampage all through here and just destroy these friggin' bikers. They have absolutely no chance, like, at all. They have about as much chance as a baby seal thrown in the den of lions. Yeah, not much. <laughs> Be a rebel! Nah, I'm good. I'm perfectly fine being my nerdy self. I don't need... Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. If you are a rebel, then... You have a whip! I don't need to say anything else. He has a whip. He's... Oh, crap. He's got a freaking primate, too. This person has a whip. <laughs> Why? And <laughs> someone actually did notice. I'm really glad that somebody noticed this, but I did... I put whips in the tags. <laughs> I don't care. There's so many whips in this game. Why are there so many whips? I don't understand. What is this game's fascination with whips? I really don't get it. I don't understand how I could have missed it. Oh, Machoke. Uh, okay, uh, we're going to swap out for this. Um, let's see. Uh, go to Sandman. <laughs> I love Machoke. He just looks like some... He looks like a frat boy or a frat guy or whatever who's, like, really, really high. Or drunk, or both. Probably both. But, I, I just think he looks really funny. Sandman is level 35. Oh, I thought he was gonna learn Psychic. <laughs> Arg! Yeah, it's stupid whip haver. Go away. I'm not... Okay. Apparently, all the rebels in this game have whips. So, that makes me very, very not want to be a rebel. So... Makes me very, very not want to be. My Pokemon won't evolve. Why? Um, I'm gonna guess that this guy has a Machoke. And he has a Whip. I knew it. And it's Machoke. See? My Pokemon won't evolve because you can't trade. No one wants to trade with a guy who has a Whip. Alright, um, let's see. Rathian, no. Um, how don't we send out a free? We haven't used him yet. Not since he became a Charizard, I don't think. Yeah, whatever. I can't imitate Pokemon cries. 
And flamethrower torches everything. See, that's that's the only reason why I didn't want to wait to level 46 with Charizard just to get a uh, freaking flamethrower. Because Ember is so worthless even when he's a Charizard. It's just... Ugh. I hate it. I can't get over having a Charizard that knows Ember. Let Voltorb electrify you. No. I don't wanna. Why should I let him electrify me? I don't want to be electrified by your balls. That's nasty, man. Ugh. Well, I mean... <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I'm just not that way. I mean, it's fine if you are. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Ah, don't you dare blow up. I swear. If you let your balls explode all over me, I'm going to be very angry. Okay, good. Sonic Boom. And wow, I can't get... Can I get any worse? I don't think so, but oh well. Anyway, come on. Oh, I was hoping for level 32. But as you can see, this is a really good spot for um, a Rhyhorn if you decide to get one. Because there's just everything out here gets destroyed by Rhyhorn. It's nothing but electric types and poison types and the occasional fighting type. And even then, unless they actually decide to hit you with a fighting type move, they're dead too. Because of his defenses and HP. Alright, level 32. And of course, uh, just like before, you know how I said that he only learns normal type moves? Remember, just a little while ago, he learned Stomp. <laughs> Ugh. I don't know how you can make that mistake in making a ground rock type not learn any, you know, rock and ground type moves naturally, like just through leveling up. I got no problem giving him TMs, but it's just stupid. But anyway, uh, now that we're here in Cycling Road, I'm going to end it off. So... Next time, we'll kill some more bikers. So see you guys then.